How to lose fat in just 10 days? Just stay on a calorie deficit and you will lose weight. Eat whatever you want and you can burn it off tomorrow at the gym. How often have you heard all these statements? Are these true? Yes, you can lose some fat in 10 days. Yes, you will lose weight if you are on a calorie deficit. And yes, if you expend more calories while exercising than what you consume, you will lose weight. But weight loss or fat loss isn't as simple as that for the majority of us. Since we fail to factor one very important factor. For practical health and wellness related information, hit the bell button and stay connected with us here. It is very simple to get a diet plan or a training plan these days. But how many of you have gotten a zillion of these and never managed to stick to them? Like we have always been saying, food is not just about calories. There are other things attached to it called emotions. And these emotions also play a major role in weight loss. The first set of emotions to deal with are anger, stress and similar negative ones. When you're in the state of negative emotions, your body produces more cortisol, which is a hormone. And this cortisol negatively affects the hormones that help you manage your weight, namely insulin, growth hormone and melatonin. Stress prevents you from making right food choices. So how to prevent stress? Easier said than done, isn't it? Since it's lurking behind every minute of the day. While it's impossible to completely avoid stress, we can definitely reduce it and create checks and balances so that it doesn't play havoc with our health. Think of including strategies such as meditation, deep breathing, and journaling into your everyday schedule. Get in some form of physical activity every day too. Make it a part of your day-to-day -day life. If stress can be a part of your everyday life, so can these strategies which help you combat it. Make time for these. Second most important emotion, and I'm not even sure if I can call it an emotion or a lack of it, is boredom. This affects even little kids these days. Notice that most often you don't eat for hunger anymore. You're eating mostly because you are bored. How to tackle this? First, find ways to keep yourself engaged. Adopt a hobby that will keep you both physically active and mentally occupied. Second, delete food delivery apps or at least stop scrolling through the phone mindlessly. Pick up a book instead and read. Stop eating mindlessly. Listen to hunger cues. Don't eat in a rush and don't eat sitting in front of screens. Whenever you do these things, you will for sure ignore your hunger cues and continue to eat even after you are full. And finally is happiness and joy. Now, this is an emotion that needs to be celebrated. Nothing wrong with that, but also be mindful of how much of what you're eating during joyous occasions and festivals. And to summarize it for you, Emotional eating is a hugely neglected component of weight loss programs. And yes, you can get help with anger management, counseling to reduce stress, etc. But also make sure you yourself are contributing to your mental health every day by practicing small things like meditation, gratitude and mindful eating.